Epididymitis is an infection or inflammation in the epididymis. The epididymis is a structure that sits above the testicles and helps transport sperm to the vas deferens. Epididymitis is a very common infection among men, and it's typically treated with a two-week course of antibiotics. The symptoms that are generally associated with epididymitis is a pain near the epididymitis itself. Sometimes we hear a pull or a tugging sensation above the testicle, some burning with urination, or some lower abdominal pain. After a vasectomy, pain, discomfort, and swelling is common for up to two weeks. If discomfort lasts longer than two weeks, or if pain is uncontrolled or severe, sometimes it may indicate that a man has epididymitis. It's not common following a vasectomy, but it can happen, and luckily there's treatment available. Be sure to give us a call if your symptoms are persistent or you're having symptoms that don't seem normal after having a vasectomy. Like I said before, treatment is generally a two-week course of antibiotics, but other things can also help the symptoms. Things like wearing supportive underwear, icing the area, or limiting physical activity can all help with symptoms of epididymitis. And those things also aid in the healing and recovery process post-vasectomy. And those things will also help you recover from your vasectomy itself. Even after a course of antibiotic treatment, it can still take four to six weeks for symptoms to fully resolve. If your symptoms persist beyond four to six weeks, we generally want to order more tests, such as a semen culture and possibly even a scrotal ultrasound. Epididymitis can also be caused by STIs, so if you're at risk for potentially contracting an STI, it's important to test for this, as well as refrain from sexual activity until treatment is completed. 